Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Park Rovers and we're at Tweetsie Railroad in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Let's check it out. We parked in the upper parking lot and there's plenty of spaces out here today and it's, it's kind of in the 60s and misty out, overcast. Oh yeah, there's an, an adventure course over there too and you can park in the lower lot if you want to access that. However, you might want to check the hours and the weather not operating today, it looks like. Here's the giant Tweetsie Railroad sign right at the entrance. And I like this collage. If you go in, you can see all of the families and children that have been entertained at Tweetsie Railroad. You can read a little bit about the Tweetsie history here on this placard. It's a Wild West theme park adventure. Open five days a week, closed Tuesday and Wednesday. And I do like that you have the Tweetsie Railroad itself, Engine 12, a miniature model, of course, down below. And this is cool. The uh, ticket stations are just like you're buying a ticket to board the train. This is awesome. All right, we did it. Single day ticket for one adult, $58. So pretty pricey, though I haven't been here before, so I'm excited to check it out. Oh, wow. And the next train is at 12 o'clock, so we could just get on this one right now. I am a little hungry, but I assume it comes right back here, so... There is food around, it looks like. And some themed characters. <laughs> wow. Our chariot awaits. 190 Tweetsie Railroad. Oh, I can see the chairlift back there. Awesome. And we got a map right when we bought our ticket. So we didn't go far. We're parked right there and we walked right over to the train and uh, I could kind of see the general store the cowboy cantina with some cowboys outside and uh, we'll check out Tweetsie Junction maybe to get some food um, but we're currently on the train so it looks like over here you can get a chairlift to take you up to Miner's Mountain where they have some other attractions all right, and it's time for our train ride. Looks like you go <laughs> off the map here. And then back down the mountain. And you return to the depot. So let's get started with the Wild West train ride, being as you're already here. You're sitting behind a real cold, burning steam locomotive, so you might just get a painful cinder in your eye. And the good folks at the first aid station will be happy to help get it out for you. Pulling our train today is locomotive number 190, the Yukon Queen, built in 1943 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works of Philadelphia for the U.S. Army. Folks, we're going to be heading up to dangerous territory, so I'd keep your guns loaded and them eyes peeled. 
and your rain jackets ready. I said, we have to be prepared for anything. Thank you, sir. We'll get on up to Fort Boone and see what the trouble is all about. Do you want a map? I don't want a map. <laughs> okay. I don't want to know where we're going. <laughs> So that's a fun train ride here at Tweetsie Railroad. We might actually want to do it again. So if you look again on the map, there is the Frontier Outpost and then Fort Boone, and those are the two shows on the railroad. So now we got a light rain going on and we're gonna to try to get something to eat. By the way, each train departs every 30 or 45 minutes beginning at 10.30 and the last train departs at five, the park closes at six. So now we're checking out the shops and headed toward food. There's a toy shop and then a jail. Here is the Tweetsie Jail and there is no one <laughs> being taken prisoner right now. Um, but we do have pressed pennies right here. So you can get a Tweetsie Railroad pressed penny. Here at the Cowboy Cantina you can get pizza, nachos, hot dogs, and ice cream and more. But we're gonna keep walking down. This does look good though. Here's the general store. I think we'll be checking this out later, maybe get some 
Tweetsy merchandise. We're walking alongside the train, getting ready. The train's getting ready for its one o'clock departure. There is a funnel factory, but it does not look like it is operational today. Well, I met some friends over here. I just went on your, the train ride. Good. Yeah. Did, you, did you get you? robbed? I, I did. Uh, I, well, I tried to offer my map, actually. I didn't, I did not, uh, you did not take Why my map. Why did you take the map? I don't need the map. <laughs> I know every inch of it. <laughs> you don't know anything. I'm, that's true. Well, you little. No. That Jeez. Hootsie Railroad. Folks. Wow, it's, it's pretty rough and tumble over here. Very rough yeah. and tumble. You better be careful out there. <laughs> I will. You Thank you very it. much. Ah, the feed and seed. I've heard about that. Now we're over here in the corner. I think I'm going to go to feed and seed next, but I just wanted to point out there are a couple of flat rides. This one, not operational, but the little cars are going. You can see a blacksmith shop up behind it. I believe that used to be a barbecue spot. I saw that, I see the pig over there. And uh, that was my backup plan for food, but does not look to be open right now. Here we go. It's feed and seed time. It's about 1240, so I usually eat around noon. So I'm pretty hungry right now. And here's the other side of the train looking down on Main Street here at Tweetsie. No one's riding the chairlift right now, probably because it's raining and cold. Wow, on the way to the Feed and Seed, we ran into Johnny Amusement, and uh, he's based out of Knoxville and does a lot of vlogs about Dollywood, which is a park we love and has a lot of shared history with Tweetsie. So check him out. And here it is, the Feed and Seed. And it looks like our options are a burger, a hot dog, some chicken, maybe a chicken sandwich, a barbecue, pizza, nachos, salads. I like this little lunch pail you get with the little partner's lunch. And the little partner's lunch has your choice of a hot dog, corn dog, cheese pizza slice, or a PB&J. All right, I think we're gonna go to the Remember When dining room. And since we're in North Carolina, we had to go with the barbecue plate. So we got pork barbecue, a roll, and uh, some potato salad. Well, that was pretty cool eating up in the Remember When dining room here at the Feed and Seed. We had a delicious pork barbecue. It was nice and juicy. We had some really good barbecue sauce to go along with that and uh, the potato salad. So recommend the Feed and Seed for sure. Really cool throwback theming here in the dining room downstairs as well. One thing I wanted to point out is there are water fountains, it seems like, everywhere. So if you brought your water bottle like me or you're just thirsty, you uh, have that available to you. Also, check out, this, <laughs> check out this light above with the bucket. That's awesome. I love the theming here. I'm not buying any fudge today, um, but if you are in the market, they do have fudge for $9.99 a pound, and they have all sorts of flavors um, and a lot of different options here, including like candy apples and stuff. And I, I like the theming inside of the fudge shop as well. So I think now that we're done with the feed and seed and we kind of explored a little bit of Main Street, it's time to go on the chairlift. And here we are going up the mountain on the chairlift. Oh, we get a view of this little area up here. I can see a tornado operating right now. Looks like there's a, like a drop tower. I definitely love a chairlift ride though, and this is, this is awesome. And we're pretty high. Oh, we just went by a tree. We uh, just swept that branch over there. And we, yeah, we are, we are really high up. And it looks like we're approaching like a castle or something. I think this is called Minor Mountain. Here is the Mouse Mine, which is a miniature railroad that circles this area. 
And it looks like there's also a company store up here. Miner's Diner. Some ice cream. Maybe on a warmer day, <laughs> they'll be operating that. Uh, and it uh, looks like there's some rides up here too. Here is Deer Park, and you can buy animal feed for 50 cents per cone. We're gonna walk right inside. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I could go through here. <laughs> Thought it was fenced off, but apparently you can. And uh, wow. So there's all sorts of anim animals here. And the European follow deer. Oh, I see them. They're all over here. Hey guys. But staring me in the face is this llama. And I'm going to keep my distance here. And I'll zoom in a little bit. But uh, this guy wants to be my friend, I think. Here's more of the, the deer. I like this guy. Love your spots. Here's another llama. Oh wow, there's, there's actually a lot of deer. They just came out of the barn. I guess it was feeding time or maybe they were taking shelter as the rain comes down. Over here are some old English baby doll South Down sheep. This ancient breed of sheep get their name from their woolly teddy bear face. Wow. And that's not a sheep, that looks like a goat. You just wandered up, you want some of that feed. I didn't buy any, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, here it is, the African pygmy goat, right by its sign, peeking out. A miniature breed native of West Africa. Pygmy goats range from 16 to 22 inches when grown. Goats can survive harsh weather, but do not like rain. Oh man, and it's raining. Sorry guys, this is not your weather. You do not like this weather. <laughs> Here's a Nubian goat. He's making circles with his head here. I think they're really used to being fed by people coming by. So uh, I really regret not buying a cone for 50 cents. And I've found the teddy bear sheep. Look at their faces. They are teddy bears. I think they're trying to stay out of the rain and I had to put on my rain jacket. It's kind of like a light rain, so it's not too bad. All right, here's a burrow. This is a big boy. A group of goats is called a herd, tribe, or trip. So that's a, that's a herd, a goat herd. And here's a miniature horse, first recorded in France in 1650, where they gained popularity as pets for Europe's nobility. This is a big pet. Hello, guy. What's your name? They make wonderful domestic pets. Wow, I don't know how much you'd have to feed this guy. Oh my goodness. Looks like the goats have runneth over. They have taken over into the streets here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. How'd you get out here? Are you allowed to be out here? What's your name? No answers. Here's a closer shot of a goat up there on the rocks. I'm not sure if he's gonna jump, but I think he's pretty content being up there. Nope, nope. Not gonna lie, I am a little afraid of these guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. The emo is a large flightless bird native to the grassy plains and dry open forests of Australia. I don't think these wet conditions really mimic Australia weather. The name emu is from an Arabic word for large bird. They are large. And that's it. We saw everything, I think. I hope. And this is nice. There is a hand washing station, mostly for children. You got to get down really low uh, if you touched any of the animals. And if you don't want to take the chairlift, there is this bus, the shuttle bus that will go down the mountain. 
And here is the Tweetsie Twister, which is a scrambler, but I love the name Tweetsie Twister and the logo. It's pretty nice. And of course, there is a gem mine. You might get lucky and strike gold here. <laughs> so while we were at Deer Park, I could hear some music, and there's actually a little show going on right now. So that was the Tweetsie Railroad Country Clogging Jamboree, and they perform at Miner's Mountain Theater along with the Hopper and Porter's musical celebration. I kind of want to check these guys out, but I don't know if we have time. I think Hopper and Porter are kind of Tweetsie's mascots, so I think we have to check out this show. It's a pretty fun show with both Hopper and Porter. Hopper, the harebrained engineer is how they describe him. The rain continues to come down here, so I'm kind of walking under the shelter, though I do have my rain jacket on now. Um, I just noticed they have a lot of these benches here. They have <laughs> this cow. I last saw these at Canopy Lake Park, and I think they're pretty common in the amusement parks. So I think while we're up here, we'll check out the uh, company store. Here's the, the horse bench. Oh yeah. 
All right, and in the store we have an assortment of really cool t-shirts and hats. Looks like the hats come in at $21.99. You got this one. Keep moving around. You got one on the bottom here. Oh, that one's cool. I like that logo. Same one here in red. And these shirts are $20.99. You can see the, the back design. And there's also a stamp on the front. I like this one with the railroad crossing sign. And also the logo on the back. And a couple of shirts that say Historic Tweetsie Railroad, North Carolina, Blowing Rock. Established 1957. And you have a fleece with a number 12 stamp here, $36.99. And then you have a soft shell jacket that's $49.99. So they got the, the stamp out front. And nothing on the back, but this is a pretty cool jacket. Oh, I like all these collectibles here. Got this collectible ornament, Christmas ornament. Lots of Christmas ornaments here. Christmas is a big deal here at Tweetsie. And lots of lots of awesome postcards. I like this <laughs> this one here. Let's cut out like the train. There's a pretty awesome kids hat too. And this little hooded shirt. 1999. Can't fit me though. It'd be a <laughs> tight fit. Oh, this is like an interactive, interactive shirt. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Even got a pony shirt. 16.99 on these princess ponies. Oh man, this is a kid shirt, but I, I want an adult size of this. This is crazy. I struck gold. Here's a tin cup. That's uh, 5.99. Tweetsie, Blowing Rock. Okay, I love when you can buy a ride attraction, a miniature version, and this is the Tweetsie Mouse, that's $16.99, and you also have the Mouse Mine Tunnel, that is $14.99. Well, now I'm intrigued, since I know there's a tunnel, I kinda wanna go on the Mouse Mine, so let's check it out. Now, are you ready? Yes. I love the mouse mine. I love that they were mining for cheese <laughs> instead of gold. Uh, that was a nice touch. I loved having a bunch of moving things like trains and, and, and mice spinning around. That was really cool. So I think it's time to head back down on the chairlift. Uh, we had a good stop here at the Miner's Mountain, um, but I think there's more to see. Our chairlift awaits. Going back down the mountain. 
I love Miner's Mountain. You can get something to eat up there. You can see a couple of shows. You get on the mouse mine. Uh, and there's a lot of other attractions too. So plenty to do. Make sure you make it up to the mountain if you're coming to Tweetsie. So there is a section of the park that we haven't explored. I'm not sure if many rides will be operating. It looks like actually everything's operating, but there's not many ride operators. So you kind of have to stand in front of what you want to ride. <laughs> I can see a miniature Ferris wheel right beyond the trees over there. Awesome. It's kind of nice and peaceful here on the chairlift. I almost just want to stay on, <laughs> just ride this a few times, um, but we got more to see. So I guess the story is the Tweetsie Mining Company operates the chairlift up to Miner's Mountain. Okay, so the section we didn't go to is called the Country Fair. Let's check it out. Oh wow, everything is going. I see the Ferris wheel going. We have a little Tweetsie carousel here. I like this old Coca-Cola cart. Called, they call it the arcade cart because it's by the arcade. So let's check out the arcade. Ooh, Jurassic Park. A lot of cool stuff in here. Frantic Fred. <laughs> this is cool. It's like ski ball, but basketball. Basket fever. I have never seen a Gorilla King. Oh my goodness, he's a little frightening. <laughs> And you also have air hockey and ice ball over here. You got four different ice balls. And I think this is what I want to ride, the, the turnpike cruisers. This is awesome. I love any uh, miniature car. So this one actually doesn't have a center. No, it doesn't have a center track. So I guess you just, you go against the railing if, if you can't steer in the center. Huh. turnpike cruiser is actually pretty fun i like that you don't have that center rail so you actually have to do some steering uh, i switched to my my head mount so that i could do steering and, and not have to worry about the camera so here is the tilt a whirl and there's also planes and helicopters and the ferris wheel and i think we have to give the ferris wheel a go so let's check it out Got the entire Ferris wheel to ourselves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a really small Ferris wheel, but it's a little different being on the mountain here. This also might be one of the oldest Ferris wheels I've ever been on, I don't know. It's kind of cool to look straight down at the other cars. Or straight up. Wow. So I just spoke to the ride ops and they told me that that Ferris wheel turns a hundred this year and it's one of the oldest in the country. It felt like it, I'll tell you that. I don't think we're going to go for a ride on the carousel, but let's check it out. I do like that they have the Tweetsie stamp on the mirrors in the center. 
That's pretty nice. So there are a few more rides in the country fair section, but you have to go up this wooden walkway here. You can see some turnpike cruisers going under it. So there's this bridge, basically, and it goes over to the three other rides, the Tornado, the Free Fall, kind of a miniature drop tower, and then Roundup, which is basically uh, you hold against the wall and it spins you around. But that's not operating today. So I'm gonna actually skip those and we'll move out of the country fair section back to Main Street. And first we have to go under the chairlifts. Here they are. Right above us. And for wayfinding, we are back at the fudge works and the feed and seed. So now we're waking our way back down to Main Street. And I was looking at the map and I realized I missed, I don't know how I did, I missed the Tweetsie Palace. So let's go check it out. It's straight ahead. I hear some music in there. Looks like we're going to catch a little bit of Diamond Will's Can Can Review. All right, I didn't start my video in time, but I assure you they were Can Can dancers on the stage. And uh, now there's going to be a magic show at uh, 3.30, so I think we're going to stick around and catch the magic show, magic show inside of the Tweetsie Palace. the saloon it's great to be able to watch a show from above uh, so it was cool to catch the magic show I do want to see those candy cane dancers because I walked in when they were finishing so I think what we're gonna do is just hang out for a little bit and the next show starts in 10 minutes and then we'll try to get on the train one more time the last train is at 5 o'clock um, and it's almost 4 so we definitely have other opportunities so I'm gonna check out a little bit of the shop and see if there's anything I wanna buy in here. Okay, so some of these shirts are a little different than what we saw in the other store. This one's new to me. Let's see what it looks like. Authentic Tweetsie Railroad, and these should be, oh, this one is $27.99. For a good time, open the door. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> howdy there, folks. Uh, uh, just don't look in here too good. I'm just sitting down here, just uh, minding my own business, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, reading some more catalog. By God, they got some good advertisements in here. Keeps a man's mind occupied, uh, except for what he's doing. <laughs> we'll let it, we'll let him uh, live in there. <laughs> oh no! I want this. $9.99 for your name on a mug. I got a lot more hats up here. I like that they got a little train in here. You can kind of have a photo op inside there. I think, I think this blue shirt is the winner, one of these. Hmm. All right, I made some purchases and I am sprinting to the Can Can Show. So, take two, Diamond Little's Can Can Review. It's almost four o'clock, and we're going to the four o'clock show. Back up the steps. And I think I'll go to the right side this time. 
All right, let me show you what I've acquired. Of course, we have the Tweetsie Railroad t-shirt, and I also picked up this magnet, which was $6.99. I'm glad I stuck around for that show. It was actually pretty impressive to see the can-can dancers. And now I think there's only one thing I want to do and that's get on the train one last time before we head out of here. So now we're at Cowboy Cantina getting a little snack before our train ride and we went with a chili dog. But I just noticed they have Doritos walking tacos. And here's our chili dog with coleslaw, onions, and chili as the train pulls back into the station. Okay, that chili dog was really solid. I ate it, <laughs> ate it pretty quickly. Now it's time to get on the train for our last ride here at Tweetsie. And here it is. Number 190 has pulled into the station. And we get our choice of cars here, so I think we're gonna go for number two. All aboard the Twin Sea Railroad. Casey Jones, let's ride. <laughs> Lots of towns in the Old West called their cemetery for the hill. So many folks met their aims through violence and gunplay in the streets, they died with their boots on. You never know what might happen when a train stops in the middle of a wilderness. Like, um, like deja vu? Have we been out here before? Listen, 
and I know you're pretty new at all this, but we've been out here like seven times today. We've been getting some reports of some mask-wearing bandits in the area, and if you see any, I need you to hoot and holler real loud and let me know, okay? But, yes, exactly. Just like that. Good job, buddy. That's what you do if you see a mask-wearing bandit. What, me? What about you? Are you telling me there's really a mask wearing bandit right here behind me? What about me, Sarah? Get out of here, you bandit. Whoa, down. Why didn't you tell me there was a bandit back there? Huh, man? All right, come here, you. Come here. Oh, whoa. Get on out of here. Me my very own sheriff. Now, what's the my name is Texas Pete, and this here is my little brother Tabasco, and together we are the <laughs> Claiming Hot Toss Bandits. Cha 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 cha. Oh, it Drop on you. Oh no, the marshal's here. Well, jumps on you. I got your deputy held hostage. Uh, she want her face look like the butt end of your horse. Uh, well, man, looks like we're taking ourselves a little field trip on up to Fort Boone. Um. Capri Sun, Are here. So, um, now that these hot sauce bandits are running amok inside, what, are you, what do we do about that? We'll go in and flush them out. You guys see if you can find Trooper Boggs to make himself useful for noise. Wait a minute. How'd you guys get untied? The Marshal freed us. Oh, the Marshal freed us, huh? Box your hat there. And yeah, the, we locked the Marshals back up at the outpost. Now, no, stop it, okay? We are going to shoot both of you, stop it, okay? All of you dead. Okay, what? what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't think she plays the truth. Hang on, I'm shooting this one. One, two, three. Get, 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 get back in there. You get back in there. Hold me. Woo. I don't know what this is. You're winning off me. All right. That'll be enough of that. Don't you get these three on back to town. That's all fine and good there, Trooper. But this isn't the last time you heard of the Playman Hot Sauce Bandits. Let's go, later, guys. Go. Rush the train. Go, go, go. They, they know we're getting on the same train, right? Conductor, take me home. <sighs> a great big round of applause for the Tweets and Cowboys, Cowgirls, and the Troopers. That was another awesome train ride here at Tweet Sea Railroad. I like that they vary it for each ride. They kind of made new jokes there, so that was that was awesome. I'd really like to check out the train called the Ghost Train for Halloween, and then also the Christmas train as well. So I actually ended up going back to the general store because I saw a few more things I wanted to buy. So let me show you what I got. I'm a sucker for enamel pins, so I had to get this classic Tweet Sea Railroad narrow gauge pin. I also got this canvas of the train. I'm going to hang that in my office. This was $11.99. And I also picked up this pennant, because why not? And it is, it was uh, $4.99. And we'll end the video where we started, right by the entrance here at Tweetsie. We had an awesome day here. Highly recommend this park. So thank you for joining me on this tour of Tweetsie Railroad. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Park Rovers. See you next time.